The people of St. Mark and St. Patrick have been hit hardest on this island, Grenada. And we're asking you to come out and show support to them, not just um, support to work, but also emotional support. And we are asking people, if you can walk with some food also, feel free to do so. Um, and anything that will make the, the efforts more meaningful. So this weekend will be a weekend where we ask the nation to come out and show your, solid, your solidarity, show what we are made of, and Grenadians, we are resilient people, and let's show the world what we can do and that we stand together in a time of crisis. Minister for Mobilization, Implementation and Transformation, Andy Williams, urging citizens to join hands in relief and recovery efforts after the destructive storm swept through earlier this week. The cleanup initiative, organized by the ministries of MIT and Infrastructure, in collaboration with the Grenada Solid Waste Management Authority, aims to clear roadways and public spaces in the hardest-hit rural communities. Starting 5 a.m. on Saturday and Sunday, we will be leaving our various areas to go to St. Patrick and St. Mark, and efforts will be coordinated through the parliamentary offices. So that will be the meeting point for everyone who wants to come and take part and who, who does not have a transport. So we will have buses carrying you from, from the various constituencies to St. Mark and St. Patrick. Volunteers are encouraged to bring tools and equipment to assist in the cleanup efforts. We are asking people if you have any tools, chainsaw, cutlasses and so, come with them, feel free. Any tools that you think will be useful in assisting us to end the cleanup, feel free to bring them. NADMA is on board and NADMA will also be helping us to get some of these tools so that people can join in the process and make it more easier. As Grenada begins the process of recovery and rebuilding in the wake of Hurricane Beryl, the national cleanup exercise will stand as a testament to the strength and determination of its people to overcome adversity and restore normalcy to affected areas. Reporting for GBN News, Amnesia Paul.